Hi, beautiful people. All praises to the Most High. So the Father wants me to explain some days that are coming ahead because they are different days, but it's being taught like one day. So there's a day of, of shaking, and then I'll go through the scriptures with that. There's a day of God's wrath. I'll go through the scriptures of that. There is the day of God's vengeance. These are different days, and he wants you to know that. There's a day of God's darkness and gloomy day, gloominess. That is another day. The day of the Lord, that is another day. Days of tribulation, that is not just for one day. That's like you have the day of the Lord, the day of darkness and gloominess, the day is of vengeance, the days of tribulation. So we're gonna, he wants you to understand the, the shift that is going to be taking place because there's days ahead that you need to look out for. Days of tribulation, day of rebuke, day of salvation, day of judgment. So these are different days, but they've been taught as in one day when they are different days. The day of the Lord's anger, the, these are different days that you need to be aware of. So we're going to just go through them. And the days of tribulation. So it's not just one day of tribulation like how we have the day of the Lord and we have the day of rebuke. There's going to be days of tribulation. That's why the apostles spoke about it so much. Now, let's just get into it. I don't want to bore you. I just want to get do the work of the Lord. So the day of the shaking, so the day of the great earthquake, you're, you're told that it's coming. So no man or woman or anybody, not even the Son of Man, not even Christ, knows the time or the hour when God is, when, when, when these things will take place. Only the Father, because he is the judge. So what we're going to go here is Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore I will shake the heavens and earth, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts. So that is the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. So we got to go through these things because that is different. This is the day of God's wrath. When the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. That is a day of God's wrath. And in the day of Zephaniah 1 and 15, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wastedness and desolation, and a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. So the day of God's wrath is the days when it is the days of darkness. Now, to reference that with Joel two and two, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people, a strong, there has never been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations or generation. That's talking about his elect. That is going to change in the days of darkness. And there's never going to be a great people or strong people like them people. He's going to change into their glorified bodies. Now, going back to the day of shaking. Hagar 2 and 21. Speak to Jeroboam, Jeroboam, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and earth. Hagar 2 and 6. For thus says the Lord of hosts, yet once in a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. All right. So um, Hebrews 12 and 26, whose voice then shook the earth. But now he has promised, saying yet once more, I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Now, Isaiah 2 and 19 and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. Now, Deuteronomy 31, 32 and 1. Give air, O heavens, and I will speak. Hear and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth because he's fulfilling his word with Psalms 50 and 4. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. So God is going to judge the heavens and earth with this great shaking. And he's, this is the crime of them. They sit, Psalm 73 and 9. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue talks through the earth. Day of God's wrath is the...
The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. So that is showing you that is another day. The day of the Lord comes. So what happens before the day of the Lord? The darkness. The three days of darkness happens before the day of the Lord. So we have scriptures going on to tell you about what is the day of the Lord. You should know the day of the Lord is different from the days of darkness and gloominess and the day of God's vengeance and the day of God's wrath and anger. These be different days. Read with understanding. Now, in Revelations, because some people don't think that three days of darkness is happening. Well, read Revelations 8 and 12. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened, and the day showed not for a third part of it, and the night like likewise. That means three days. Isaiah 5 and 30. And in that day they shall roar against them, like the roaring of the sea. And if one look unto the land, behold, darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened in the heavens thereof. Even the heavens are gonna is going to have three days of darkness. Now, the day of his wrath, Revelation 6 and 17. For the great day of his wrath is come. Who shall abide? Who shall be able to stand? Now, Job 21 and 30 talks of the day of the wrath. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. There's a day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Romans 2 and 5. But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasured up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Remember, the day of judgment is different from the day of wrath. And I'm proving these things to you through the scriptures. Now, this is to the rich people who think they can, their money can get them out of the day of wrath. Because the day of wrath is not the day of judgment. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. Now, the in this the, the wrath of the Lord of hosts and the day of his face fierce anger, that is when he's gonna shake the heavens and earth. That day. Isaiah thirteen and thirteen, therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, and the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. In Zephaniah one and eighteen, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy radiance of all of them that dwell in the land. That is not the judgment of that is not the day of judgment. That is the day of God's wrath. And you gotta be prepared for the day of God's anger. And you gotta be prepared for the day of God's vengeance. And you gotta be prepared for the day of the day the day of God's rebuke. Just like you have feelings, God has feelings too. Revelation 6 and 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. You even got it prepared for the day of the wrath of the Lamb of Christ. He has a sword and it's furbish. It tells you in Ezekiel. And it's been given in the hand of the slayer. That is Christ. It's talking about Revelation 6 and 15. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. So you got to be prepared on the day of the wrath of the Lamb of Christ's return. Ezekiel 7 and 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. So... The day of the wrath is when people are going to be throwing away their, their gold and silver in the street because they know that God is God and he power belongs to him. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. So their riches, their gold and their silver and all the things that they, they hoard up, it has became a stumbling block of their iniquity. So in Hebrews 3 and 11, so I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Romans 9 and 22, 
What if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction? The day of wrath is different from the day of vengeance and the day of judgment. Now let's go on to the day of judge day of God's vengeance because of the daughter of Zion. So the God is going to take vengeance. The day of vengeance is because of the daughter of Zion. Isaiah 63 and 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem has come, for him to redeem the daughter of Zion, the children of Judah and Israel. Isaiah 61 and 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the, den the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. The daughter of Zion is in mourning. Well, was. Isaiah 30, now she's rejoicing greatly. Isaiah 34 and 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion, for the daughter of Zion. Because of the controversy of the daughter of Zion, God is going to have his, for the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses. He's recompenses the enemies for the controversy of the daughter of Zion. Isaiah, I mean, Jeremiah 46 and 10. For this is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries, and the sword shall devour, and it shall be sustained and made drunk with their blood. For the Lord God of hosts has a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Now, this is the day of God's vengeance when war is to take place on Babylon. Because isn't the daughter of Babylon supposed to be cast in the dirt and the daughter of Zion supposed to rise? So God's vengeance, he's taken vengeance before the controversy of the daughter of Zion. And now he's judging Babylon because of it. Jeremiah 50 and 15, shout against her, round about. She has given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her. As she has done, do unto her. What did God tell you? Vengeance belongs to him. And that is the day of his vengeance. Babylon is going to take the vengeance on Babylon, on his adversaries, and those of the daughter of Zion because of the controversy with her. Now, Deuteronomy 32 and 35, To me belongs vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Isaiah 35 and 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Now, vengeance is different from God's day of darkness and God's day of wrath. Ezekiel 25 and 17, And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Now, we're not going to go too deep in days of darkness and gloominess. You should know it by now. Joel 2 and 2, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of thick darkness. That is the day of darkness. That is a different day of punishment that is coming upon the earth. Joel 2 and 31, and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. So before the great and terrible day of the Lord, you're going to have the three days of darkness and the moon will turn into blood. The great and terrible day of the Lord. So we know the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is different from the days of darkness. Now let's talk about the day of the Lord. Ezekiel, spoken of in Ezekiel 30 and 3. For the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near, a cloudy day. It shall be the time of the heathen. Joel 1 and 15. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. As an end, as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in, the, in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord comes. It is nigh at hand. Joel 2 and 11. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. Because after the three days of darkness, then those people change. And he will utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? The people are going to be changed already for the day 
the great and terrible day of the Lord. So that happens in the times of three days of darkness in those periods of times. And after, so they're going to be changed before the day of the Lord. And they're going to be great and very terrible army. So people are going to see them. Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. All you people who say rapture and you can't wait for the Lord to come. What, what says to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So you mustn't be boasting on something like that. Because it's going to be a day of distress. Now days of tribulation. Days of tribulation. Immediate after that. After the tribulation of those day, those days shall be, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. What does it say? Immediate after those days, these are days of tribulation. Those days of tribulation, not one day. How we have the day of the Lord. How we have. The day of darkness, how we have the day of vengeance, but even the day of darkness and gloomy days is three days. The day of vengeance, we have that. We have the day of wrath. So now it's talking about days of tribulation. So this is not one day. Mark 13 and 24, but in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. I'm just paraphrasing what was in Matthew and Mark. Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. So this is telling you those day the tribulation of those days. Here it's telling you you shall have tribulation ten days. But thou be thou faithful unto the end, and I will give thee a crown of life. But how do you get the crown of life? You ought to be faithful. Now, 1 Thessalonians 3 and 4. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass. And you know. Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. But it's not going to be one day. It's going to be Days of tribulation. Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting, ex, exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. John 16 and 33, these things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the word you ha shall have trouble, tr shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Revelation 7 and 14. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knows. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the man, blood of the Lamb. So this is now we're going to talk about the day of rebuke. Hosea 5 and 9. Abraham shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel have I known that which should which shall be now the day of battle that is even different from the day of rebuke so there be different days don't blame it so we got the day of re of battle hosea 10 and 14 therefore shall a tumult arise among the people and all thy forestry shall be spoiled as solomon spoiled bethrobel in the day of battle the mother was dashed in pieces upon her children. Zechariah 14 and 3. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. And when he fought in that day, 